Hi guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are continuing on with the AP Physics 2018 exam. This is free response question number four, and it looks like it's a wave question. So let's see, we have a traverse wave travels to the right along a string. Two dots have been painted on the string in the diagram below. The dots are labeled P and Q. The figure below shows the string an instant in time. At the instant shown, dot P has a maximum displacement and dot Q has zero displacement. So that means like P is as far away from the center and Q is not far away from the center or zero distance from the center. At each of the dots, P and Q draw an arrow indicating the direction of the instantaneous velocity of that dot. If the dot has either zero velocity, write V equals zero next to the dot. Okay, so this is gonna be going, if the, the wave's going up, then what P is going to do, P is just, P, P can't move, like the rope isn't moving sideways. They, they can only go up and down, right? That's kind of how a wave works. So this guy's going up, just the direction. So the arrow just needs to be the direction. Now, as this wave moves to the right, Q is going to go up too, right? So this is going to go like that. Uh, if the dot, if either dot has zero velocity, right, V equals zero next to that dot. Oh, instantaneous velocity. Okay, so this is moving. This is kind of like right at the end, so it, it, it's actually not moving. It's, ooh, let me see if I can undo. Yeah, if I erase it. So this is V equals zero here, and then this is moving up. And the reason V, this is V equals zero is because it, it went down it's slowing down and it's about to it's about to turn around and come back up because right before this instant it was coming down and like this and then it's turning around and at the moment it's turning around the velocity is zero the figure below shows the string of the same instant shown in part a at each of the dots uh, p and q draw an arrow in the direction of instantaneous acceleration of that dot if either dot has a Okay, so in this case, this is the acceleration because it's it's starting to pull upward. This is like oscillations. Um, it's starting to point upward, and that's what the, while the velocity is zero, it's going to start going that way. Here, velocities hit a maximum because it's going as fast as it's going, and then it's going to start like slowing down, going upward. So actually, a equals zero right at this point because the acceleration is going from downward to upward, so it's switching right at that point. Um, okay, uh, the figure, so the next part, figure below represents a string at time t equals zero, same instant when dot p is at maximum, and for simple policy, dot q is not shown. All right, on the grid below, draw the string a time later, t equals big T over four, where t is the period of the wave. Note, do it. Okay, so we got to do, like, it's, if it were a full t, it would be the exact same wave, right? Because that's what it means to be periodic. But at t over four means it's gonna move over one quarter of a wave, which means like one quarter of a wave, if you look at it, it's just one, two, three, four, it's like four of these hash lines separating it. A quarter of a wave is gonna be like up here with the peak. This peak's also gonna be a quarter over to about there. The zero is gonna be a quarter over about there. And then we just kind of sketch, I'm just sketching the zeros. And then, um, And then we just kind of fill it in. I know, what a beautiful sine wave. I don't think you get totally graded on uh, penmanship. But yeah, you know, it's pretty much an, uh, a mirror image of this thing shifted over uh, a quarter of a wave. On your drawing below, draw dot to indicate the position, dot P on the string at time t. Now, now P, remember, does not move horizontally? Um, it's right here. It, it's, it doesn't move horizontally, it moves up and down, right? Like that, that piece of rope, I color it, it's just going up and down. Okay, and now consider the wave at time t equals t. Determine the distance traveled, not the displacement, by dot p between times t equals zero and t. Okay, so the distance, so p is gonna go all the way up and all the way down, right? That's the total, and its displacement would be zero because it's gonna come back to where it started after one period of the wave it would come back to where it started. But it went up all the way to the top and then all the way came, it came all the way back down. So it traveled 16 centimeters to the top, 16 centimeters to the bottom, 32 centimeters. Two trips, or one trip, 
from negative eight centimeters to eight centimeters. This is just showing my work, just in case. From plus one trip from eight centimeters to negative eight centimeters. Round trip. Zero displacement, but 32 centimeters distance travel. Okay, let's take a look at the scoring guidelines. Uh, question, three, question four. Um, correct, correct. Oh, their picture is so much prettier than mine, but yes, we have the right thing. P is right at the zero, curve shifted right by one quarter of a wavelength. Um, for point P is at the original position. Okay, yep, up, yep, one point for correct nu numerical answer, 32 centimeters. I didn't have to show any work, just as long as it was 32 centimeters. So, yeah. All right, thanks, and um, please leave a comment, like, or subscribe if you want to see more videos and, or if you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you guys next time. Uh, I think we have one more free response question. Thanks. Bye.